Um, a little bit about, about me. I've been working in the out-of-band field for 20 years. I'm in Open Gear Sales. I've been with Open Gear for about three years now. I primarily work in enterprise accounts, and I hail from State College, PA. And with me today, I've got um, Marcio Saito, our new CTO. So I'll let Marcio say hello. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Marcio, and uh, the data center is changing. And as we evolve from the traditional enterprise data center to the new uh, high-scale uh, cloud data centers, the need for infrastructure management is going to change as well. And then he's going to talk a little bit how out-of-band management evolved in the past, and he'll give us a glimpse on how it moves into the future. Yep, excellent. Thank you. Yeah, so um, what I want to do today is spend just a short introduction on open gear out of band as a primer, but we really want to quickly get to some of the advanced features we've been doing re recently, and then as a second part, talk about some cellular innovations. I've, innovations. I've got a demo going. I'm going to save that for last, so to make sure that we've got a lot of time for dialogue, because I know and, and, and expecting questions and input. So about open gear, we provide smart out of band management solutions, primary for the network group. The idea is to minimize downtime, provide resilience to detect, survive, and recover outages. And we, we, we term it smart out-of-band. Um, and recently, there's been a lot of trends for out-of-band functionality around sc scalability and automation. So in our product feature set, product line, you see we kind of have two flavors. We've got devices that are really made well for the data center. It's our 7200 line. And then we've got remote site units with uh, our ACM 7000, which is great for remote site. So we kind of have a good balance between data center and remote site. And then we have options for embedded cellular or, or no, uh, no embedded cellular. Oh, the slides are moving forward. Uh, a quick out-of-band primer, what is, what is out-of-band? If, if in case for people watching at home, you may not have heard of out-of-band for the network group. Uh, network equipment comes with a, a console port. This is used the first time you set up the device to configure it. And it's also used remediation during uh, maintenance and uh, the lifespan. So across the life cycle, network admins are using these as kind of a, an emergency or a first time access to the device when they're setting it up for the first time, when it's in production, uh, or if there's some kind of problem. So this is kind of the core of really traditional out-of-band management. So over the last 20 years that I've been involved with out-of-band management, it's really changed in how people are accessing it, what they're connecting to, and what they're expecting of it. So this is kind of where we are today, but originally, the remote piece was really a U.S. robotics modem. So that's kind of that AOL connection, screechy noises, and it gets you a VT100 uh, connection. And then around 2004, 2005, cable modems and DSL really displaced that and changed that. So people were using this kind of secondary Ethernet connection for the remote access. And then, of course, about five years ago, we started embedding LTE. And that has really revolutionized how people are accessing the out-of-band management when there's an outage. Um, when I started, console servers were actually called terminal servers, and that's exactly what they were doing, and some people still call them that. Um, you had dumb terminals connecting up to v VMX, VAX servers, and that really quickly changed as the whole IT and internet world changed. People started using console servers, and calling them console servers, high density routers and switches connecting um, and managing those. Today, they're kind of, uh, they're connecting to the, the console ports, but they're, they're also a mix of USB ports, so we'll talk a little bit about that because, well, why USB, what's happening there, and so we'll kind of look into that as well. And the biggest thing I've seen is the change in what they're expecting from out of band. In the, initially, it was just serial over IP. I just need some kind of SSH session to get to that target. So it was really this focus, basic console access, and that's all I need from this tool. Um, today, it's really a shift um, into scalability and the introduction that I've seen lately in the network group of DevOps. So either they're working with the DevOps groups or a network group actually has DevOps people in their uh, department and that's kind of a, a new trend. And so that is driving a lot of expectations about what this tool set, uh, tool set should do. So kind of the bottom line, as Marshall mentioned, is the, the solutions need to adapt. The, the world's changing around them, IT's changing, they really need to be 2016 to 2018 ready. Um, and so that's kind of what I want to review at this point. 